Hi all folks, this is Max from DroidRazorRoot.com, your favorite site for uh, Droid Razor and also YouTube channel. Um, we get very high on Android here. Anyway, today we're going to root our uh, Droid Razor, which is on my latest OTA here. Let me show you. Um, if you go to settings about phone, um, it's on Android 2.3.6. This should work on any gingerbread. Um, I'm on software version 6.12.173.xt912 uh, and also this should work on um, GSM versions, it's completely safe um, if you can do it and also uh, if this doesn't work there's other method you can try on my site droidrazorroot.com um, but it should work and uh, go to settings first of all you'll go to settings and um, applications uh, make sure unknown sources checked on, say yes. Under development, make sure USB debugging is checked on, say yes. And then connect it to your computer. Um, I have a Windows, Windows, this is for Windows, but I also have a link to the Linux and Mac OS X. You just have to run that file. Um, I'll have instructions on my site, droidrazorroot.com. Um, so let's go to our computer. You want to download this uh, zip file called motofail underscore windows. Um, this is written by Dan Rosenbor Rosenberg. Um, don't forget to donate to him. I'll have a uh, link to his site on my credits. Um, he's a very good guy. He's, um, he's going to donate all your donations to Red Cross anyways. Um, so just go here and make sure you have drivers installed. If you don't have drivers installed, I have uh, driver links. Um, below and also if you're on Windows you'll need um, drivers installed um, and you can check it in device manager open up device manager if you don't know how to get into device manager just type Windows my uh, Windows XP device manager um, just Google it everything's on Google um, so if you open this up you should get something like Android USB device Moto composite ADV interface if you get any kind of ADV interface um, you're all good to go so once that's done Simply run run me that bat uh, run that bat. Um, also for Linux or Mac, um, you just have to do open up a command terminal uh, and do dot slash run dot sh. Um, so it's pretty simple to do. Just run that, and uh, you don't need drivers for Linux or Mac. Hit enter, and uh, it's going to reboot your device a couple times. Mm -hmm. And after it's all done, you should have root super user. And does it install? Um, yeah, in installs BusyBox also. Um, so my phone is rebooting. And voila. And it's rebooting. And uh, it should work. And also, this works on Droid 3, um, Droid Bionic, and Droid 4. Awesome, huh? So you can root all those phones. Phone is rebooting. And it's rebooted. And it's gonna probably do a bunch of stuff and reboot again. Alright, right, and it's rebooting. It's gonna reboot about now. And a lot of the new motor, Motorola devices are the same method. Um, they always use the same um, blocks, so you can pretty it's universal across um, different Moto devices. I try to stay away from Moto devices now, just simply because they change. They try to block uh, root, you know, on every update, and it's just kind of getting tired. Whereas the Samsung devices, it's a lot easier. You just flash a kernel. Uh, with root, and you have root, or flash a kernel uh, with clockwork motor coming in, flash root. So even after software updates, it's very easy to root um, Samsung devices versus Moto devices. And plus there's a lot more ROMs on Samsung devices like the Samsung Galaxy S2 Note. Mm -hmm. um, but I really love my Droid Razor. Um, the battery actually lasts a pretty long time. And uh, anyway, it's done now. Um, let me switch the camera angle now, and it's done here. 
and uh, you can go see that you have super user installed now um, super user installed um, next and uh, let me see here and uh, you can verify that you have super user access by running a rooted app um, you want to install I, I highly suggest you to install safe scrap recovery um, it's a safe uh, way of you know installing new ROMs I'll have ins I have instruction on that on droidraiserroot.com um, just follow those directions and you should have safe strap also um, let me see if I can verify here um, you can get free Wi-Fi tethering um, you can either hack the existing hotspots oh you'll have to do that actually and then um, you can use the onboard one or I like Android Wi-Fi tether this one is not broken yet, but I'm 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 just gonna download it real quick to show you that root is here. Go to Android Wi-Fi Tether. Downloads. Download the latest APK. And click on it. And it's done. And I'm gonna install. Open and start tether, and we should get super user thingy. Doop, doo -doo. right there no right there hit allow so you get super user request your phone has been rooted um, congratulations contract uh, pat yourself on the back the next step is you want to install safe strap and also uh, back up your current ROM just in case something goes wrong you can always go back anyway um, that was how to root your droid razor or droid 3 droid bionic or droid 4 um, on Android 2.3.6 and it should work on all gingerbread anyway thanks you guys um, if you have a droid razor don't forget to subscribe to my email list at droidraiserroot.com where I update you once or twice a week with stuff like this tips ROMs and more and uh, uh, I don't share your email with anyone else it's just for you and me uh, for communication and also if you're on YouTube don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you have thanks and share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus anyway thanks you guys for supporting my channel I'm going to get more high on Android. Um, let me go install some ROMs and see you guys all later. Don't be a hater.